Hello, greetings. The next video of the 7i96S. The structure is essentially the same. The spindle is still connected and now a handwheel is added, namely the Tom Simple handle. But not in the old version. So here in the rudimentary version. But in one slightly modified version. I made a new PCB here in 2022 with 16116 outputs, two analog inputs and an encoder input. That means the board can already do a lot more about smart series and it works in here and some users have just said okay. I want a feed potentiometer and a spindle potential. You've constructed an enclosure. I've reprinted it now and rebuilt the hand wheel, so to speak. Interestingly, isn't it much bigger than the original version? Don't know if I can catch it. It's just gotten a bit longer. Okay, but that's just a side note. It's all about this configuration in Linux CNC, and I'll show you that. I'll just start the machine. And let's click through the functions. So this. What I've linked now is all these buttons. The potentiometer and the encoder so that the whole thing works here for the time being. We need to reference the machine and turn it on. Turn on, reference. So, now I can test it. So I've got the potentiometers for here. The spindle and for the feed I make the spindle so 20%. Because I want to start the Linux CNC logo test program right away and there's S10,000 and it programmed by default. And at 20%, the spindle doesn't spin quite as fast now. Okay. I'll show you jogging. So I'm going to choose one of these buttons again. This tottering, so speak this. That only one of the respective keys works at a time. Is rather anchored in the circuit board in the microchip. If I start the whole thing in the software mode zero. It's now soldered in here in such a way that I had to do XYZ down here now and also the increment selection up and down. But that bothers me now just a habituation factor play and stop over here and zeros. Here's what we can do. We just play an X in tenths. I press the consent button and we see on the display. How I'm going to drive the machine to a certain place now, so to speak, and now I can say Z0, Y0, X0 I'll update. The preview and we see how the program jumps to the respective place. It works. Now we can just set the potentiometer for the feed to zero and press play here. The machine doesn't run, but we see that the frequency converter has turned on and is turning the spindle. That's because the program already says M3S10,000. And that's that. What I mean when I turn the spindle potentiometer here, then, of course, the rotation increases. And if I'm here 100%, so I turn it up to full speed, then I reach my 10,000 RPM. I'll reduce the whole time and now turn up the feed a bit and we'll see how the machine starts to drive. Now an EG. And we're going to step on 100% and let the machine drive through here a bit. So I have full control over here. The program about the hand wheel. So, now, of course, you can also press stop. Or I can, even if I turn it down to zero without feeding. The machine also stops. Or I press stop. So much for the basic functions. Explained or discussed what we can still test is. I pull off the hand wheel and then it must come to the error. So, we see, Linux stops. 
because it has a communication problem with the handwheel. Okay, I'll close the whole thing or we can leave it open. How do you get the configuration? As I said, I have the whole thing on my GitHub and via repositories you can access the 7i96s here. And there I have different branches. In the first video it was the spindle. That is, if you just want to look at yourself. How it works with the spindle, then you can call up the branch minimal spindle here. Then the files are in the state. As they were at the time to the video and today's files. In other words, for this video you can find it minimal TSHW. That means, here you can take a look, which has changed so much compared to the master. If you want to know exactly, you can do so here at commits. B. Take a look at what I just changed in the hail and INI. I'll press here now. On this commit and now you can see. I have, for example, in the INI file I have adjusted something here. I've added something. I have. Let's go further in the TSHW. Hail, I added stuff, deleted it. And so you can understand what exactly I did there or you can of course look at the files directly by saying I jump into brunch and open this hail here, for example, and then I also see what's happening in there. And in the masters I work, I'll put everything in there first. What I'm going to think of in the near future. Okay. I'll stop the machine again. So that the error is gone. But basically, that's it and then I say. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. There subscribes to the channel. Don't forget to turn on the bell if you want to support me even more. Then you are welcome to do so via Patreon. Yes and then. I'll say goodbye until the next video, almost forgotten. A little bit of video footage of how I made this thing together. But now bye bye and see you in the next video.